Ladies and gentlemen, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Monograph. I'm your guest with the CIA, the Central Intelligence Agency. But before I start, I did want to tell everybody that this show has been sponsored by the New World Order Soft Drink, Pepsi. Yes, because we want to have all those chemicals and fluoridation in your body. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me get some of my... Uh, I feel so much better. I can breathe. There's nothing, nothing better than a little shot of Elmer's glue. Let's get a little light on this up, shall we? All right. This blog, T, uh, this blog TV is, uh, has been placed about because some interweb knucklehead by the name of Testicle Coils. Oh, I got that wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, Tesla Coils. Anyway, Tesla Coils got butt hurt in a Boss TV show that I did last night because a gentleman by the name of... Um, what was his name? Anonymous Dick kicked him out because he refused to pay his five internet dollars, spendable nowhere, nowhere I'll have you know, to the show. So he kicked him out. So he got so bad hurt about it that he feels the need to attack Monograph and state as a fact, as a matter of fact, that Monograph is a CIA agent, if you can even imagine. Okay, so let me get this straight there, testicle coils, 2001. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Tesla coils. Uh, let me get this straight there, testicle coils. Senator, uh, first of all, thank you for uh, honoring the wishes of the people and not taking lobbyist money. Yeah. It's been reported that um, you and your wife are in the Globalist CFR, which is the Council on Foreign Relations. Um, and um, I'd like to know if that is true. And also, um, I'd like to know where you stand on the North American Union, which has been um, confirmed recently in the press. Um, Ron Paul actually spoke about it, and Congress has actually spent some money on it. This North American Union involves a union much like the European Union, only with Canada, Mexico, and the United States, and the possible merging of uh, the money system into uh, a piece called the Amero, uh, which would actually strip the United States of some of its sovereignty and perhaps our rights. Where do you stand on that? Well, first of all, uh, I'm, I'm not... Uh, the, the Council on Foreign Relations, uh, I don't know if I'm an official member. I've, I've spoken there before. Uh, it basically is just a forum where a bunch of people talk about foreign policy. Uh, and so there's nothing, uh, there, there's no official membership. I don't have a card or, you know, <laughs> or anything like that. Uh, the, in terms of this North America, uh, what, what, you, this has been uh, something I know Ron Paul talked about and people have been talking about. I have to say with all due respect that I see no evidence of this actually taking place. I think this has been something that has been ginned up in certain blogs on the internet. It was based partly on the fact that there's this highway being built uh, in Texas that will facilitate more transportation and travel between Mexico uh, and the intercontinental United States on up to Canada. And so people have perceived that this potentially means that somehow there's going to be this uh, union like the European Union. There's no evidence that that's taking place. Um, that will help to break down barriers of trade between those three countries, and I was opposed to that. 